Welcome back once again, ladies and gentlemen, to small Hand of Fate 2. I'm Hal, let's go. So, last episode, we did the magician mission, and uh, if I do say so myself, we did alright. So, yeah, pretty happy with how that turned out. Hopefully, whatever it is. I do not actually... know what the usurper has done with my game. He will have improved it, I am sure as I improved the game of my predecessor. Yeah, so as I was saying, I just I don't like talking over the, the narrator. But yeah, we've now got the choice of three here. We've got the High Priestess, the Empress, or the Emperor. Um, let's try the High Priestess. Just continue on in a, a linear fashion. This is number three on the, you know, the row on the bottom. So yeah, let's let's do that. Hopefully, this mission will be uh, will go equally as well as it did last time. Right, the high priestess. Collect blessings. Blessings. <laughs> Collect blessings in order to enter the ritual house at the summit of Mount Freyrus and negotiate a treaty with the Northerners there. Right, tribute. Gain blessings to increase your chances of success. Northerner, do not be ex. Expect to be welcomed by northerners while treading in their land. So we're gonna have a lot of combat with northerners. That's fine Campfire survive Mount Freitas by restoring life at camp Okay Um. Yeah Oh, this is new winter's being That's new too. So is that. Okay. Uh, also, apologies if you hear any uh, any sniffles. I'm still a little bit under the weather. Uh, right. I feel like we take soldier sword because the repost, you know, is great for northerners. Beyond that, there's nothing really exceptional that like leaps out at us. Like I mean, a shield's a shield. We need a shield, but we also start with a a crappy one. So maybe we take Valiant Aegis, because that's a shield, obviously. Uh, we take Winter's Bane. We take the Ruby Ring. Because uh, we don't know what any of these do, so they could be amazing. They could be garbage, of course, but you know. And uh, I guess then maybe we just take... Uh, a bog standard shield. Why not? It'll have more defense than uh, the crappy one we start with. So yeah, we'll, we'll do that. I'm happy with that. Right. Let's have a look at this, because this is new. Oh, of course we don't know what it is, but there is a token for it. So maybe we tear that. Um, I don't want a load. It says I need to restore life at camp, which means there's probably going to be a lot of combat or a lot of things that cause me, like, to get pain cards. So I'm thinking if I take the old maiden, um... Distressed damsel, that could be good. Deep water will take. Um, I'm not. I'm unsure because like I could take mark a thief, but like this is the thing. It's a one in four chance to pull it off. Okay and get the token as well as having a, an actual fear of blood come because even if you just get success on that card you get back the three gold you lose and basically nothing else happens so it's it's it seems to be skewed more in favor of being negative which you know i mean the token might be nice i suppose we can come back to that if and when we need to unlock more cards if we we hit um if we hit a brick wall. What have we got so far? We've got three. We've got some... A couple of gain cards. I think we take one more gain card, if I have any. Gain gold. I guess we take Tarts, Pies and Exotic Lies, because, you know... I've got one new one in there. We'll take another new one. Um, let's take Nomish Exchange. And we'll take... The underneath 
see if we can't put a bit more progress into Malaclipse's quest and that'll do us that's our six of six okay let's uh, let's go you find yourself once again in the company of prayer and religion <laughs> how unfortunate I do like this guy <laughs> Now it begins. Negotiations on behalf of the Empire. We will see how that story ends. Right. Malaclipse has somehow roped you into travelling deep into the far north on a diplomatic mission. While I usually refrain from working for the Empire since this one takes me further away from it, I've made an exception. I'll square my debt with General Brandstrom and help open many doors for you. What do you say? Uh, let's ask more about the mission. General Brandstrom instructed me not to come back until I talk to the High Priestess of the North and offer the terms of the treaty. Will you join me? Ask how I can help. As you know, I have a great many skills, but my short, short? <laughs> my swordsmanship is unlikely to hold up against Northern Raiders. I know no one else who is more up to the task. Well, thank you. That's very kind of you. <laughs> I don't know if you're talking about me, though, because uh, my sword skills aren't exactly amazing either. <laughs> Ask about the leaders. There are many clans dotted around, but the supposed leader of them all is the High Priestess, who lives up there. Malaclips points to the top of the soaring mountain before you. Yeah, okay, let's do it. Let's go. I mean, <laughs> it's a case of having now, isn't it? Excellent. Bring your sword and let me do the talking. I've brought plenty of supplies so we can set up camp when we get hungry. Very good. Jesus, you weren't lying. 25 food right off the bounce. Right. So... When it says like collect at least six blessings, like obviously this is uh, it's like in collect blessings to increase your chance of you know com completing the mission. So we can get at the end and meet the high priestess even with zero blessings, but the chances of us pulling it out the bag are probably going to be slim to none. So yeah, blessings are the way forward. Um, I don't think I've got any cards that give you blessings though, so. I'm hoping some of the encounters that were already in here will just have it. So, let's go. You grit your teeth and begin the ascent. A lesson in caution awaits us. Oh, all. brilliant. <laughs> nature, truly wild nature, will not tolerate fury in its domain unless it is its own. High up on the mountain, you see the silhouette of a man approaching through the heavy snow. He bellows through the, the roaring wind. Who dares trust... I sound like I've got marbles in my mouth today. Who dares trespass in the sacred grounds of our priestess? Four frost. That's no bother. Um, I'm hoping after I kill these, I don't start an avalanche because that would be a shame, wouldn't it? <laughs> Right, first off, Malaclips, my boy, give me, give me my shield. Okay, well, straight off the bounce, <laughs> I've, uh, I've already lost my shield. Okay, one guy down. Get destroyed. Right. The trick is, I think, is to try and keep them like separate. Oh, okay, okay, son. I realise I could be defending these, and as it is, I'm just avoid evading all them. But ah, you've got to take what you can get. Right, come on. We've got the report. Nice. So yeah, as you, as you saw there, you can use your super to kind of like, while your super's active, you're invulnerable, essentially. Even though I took two hits there, which wasn't great. It started off so well, and then when I talked about defending, <laughs> that's where it all went to, to pot. So maybe I should just not do talk about it and get on with it. <laughs> the clash of steel rings out, echoing through the peaks. The mountains answer with a low, ominous rumble as a wall of white rushes, rushes towards the melee, sweeping away everything in its path. 
Okay, over an 11. Back which, to the uh... I hope you have learned to be their master. Yeah, that's... that's pretty low, so we should be able to do that. <laughs> right, I think we keep the four, because I only need to roll a seven off two dice, and statistically, rolling, this, you, off rolling two dice, seven is the, like, most probable, um, number of coming out. So, yeah, let's, let's keep our four. Okay, we got eight, but, yeah, great. A win here sets the tone for your challenge. Seek shelter against the bluff, pressing close to the rock face as the avalanche roars overhead. When the trembling stops, you are miraculously unscathed. Your assailant's weapon juts out from the snow as you knee. You realise it's still clenched in his hand, his body buried to the wrist by the avalanche. Give me, give me his weapon, dude. It's nice, nice, look at this. It's almost like this was... Look at this. Knockdown Northerner. Perform a powerful strike that causes knockdown northerners. Enemies in knockdown can be defeated with a finisher. So basically, regardless of how much damage we've done them, if we hit them with a super, we can then instantly finish that guy afterwards. Repost does uh, 150% damage counts double towards weapon. Oh, okay, that's cool. So if we repost successfully, then it adds two to our hit counter. That's so good. Yes, that's fantastic. Winter's Bane, my friend. Yeah, why would I dig him out when he's, you know, <laughs> he's just trying to cave me skull in. He can get lost. Be careful where one takes refuge, oh even dear. in the worst of storms. Oh dear, oh dear. Yeah. <gasps> oh, thank God. <laughs> I couldn't be doing with taking any more damage there. I've already had two hits in combat and then taking two life pain cards there. On like, you know, card number two. <laughs> when the howling winds ease, you clear the snow from the cave entrance to discover the dark clouds of past. Thank you. Malaclips forages for firewood saying this log is dry enough we can set up camp here for the night. Access the campfire at any time. Campfire can be used to consume food, trade or review your mission. Okay. So I can use triangle to camp. Campfires will always offer warmth and heat, but they also change with each challenge. Be prepared. A figure appears out of a swirl of frost and snow. It is a northerner. I come in peace, he says. I make the pilgrimage to the high priestess. I mean you no harm. Without waiting for approval, he slumps down beside you and warms his hands by the fire. That's fine. If you're not going to try and kill me, then you're more than welcome. In my youth, I once fancied a northern warrior. She almost cut off my head when I serenaded her. Malaclips pluck, plucks a mournful note on his loot. Young lover. Yeah, let's cook some food. Malaclips sits himself next to you, offering a sip of warm honey wine. Last time I was on Mount Frindus was when I got very drunk and lost a bet. We've got plenty of food, so I feel like I should cook some more food. One more. Right, trade, buy equipment, soldier sword, not interested, especially not for that kind of money. Sell? No. I don't need to buy food, I've got plenty of food. Right, let's break camp. You sleep through the long cold night, in the morning you pack your things and continue to climb up the mountain. Okay, no bother. In the cold, Another men become fudging desperate. blizzard. Women hold these mountains together, even so through the So I've taken 15 worst. damage just there, just because. Oh, getting, getting the lucky breaks on the cards here. <laughs> when the howling winds is, you clear the snow from the cave entrance to discover the dark clouds have passed. So basically, after every blizzard, Malaclipse is going to give us the same spiel about setting up camp. As it is, I don't think we need to. Mages at the moment. are hard to eradicate at the best of times. We have our ways of hiding from the light. Okay. So we can at least make some progress on Malaclipse's quest, if nothing else. Following Malaclipse's cryptic directions, many of which involve borrowing farm animals, you arrive at the, reg of the edge of a vast and lonely lake. There, you uncover a cave entrance blocked by a stone door. 
We must seek out Ira of the Vale in the underneath the bar that explained as he followed a frightened cow around the previous night. Let's ask why he needs to see her. Drops his wine bottle nervously and forces a loud and hearty laugh, completely ignoring your question. The bespectacled ogre manning the door at the underneath doesn't look up from his book as he approaches. Ten food items per entry. Robbery, if you're trying to hustle us, sir, I'll have you know that I can shoot lightning from my fingertips. Door keep size. Times are hard for us, Marl. You'll see when you get in there. <coughs> Ten food is quite a lot to ask for, given that it's this mission and I'm probably going to need a lot of food to recover my health with. But, uh Okay, let's do it. The ogre places his book down and with a mighty push the stone door rolls open. A narrow tunnel takes you deep beneath the earth, opening into a vast limestone cavern. Twinkling on the edge of an underground lake lies a small shanty town, red lanterns lining the quiet streets. Malaclips leads on, welcome to the underneath coin slave. Since that bothersome empire edict, we've had to hide away in places like this. This used to be quite the hub of activity, but now, he surveys the silent streets grimly. Grimly? <laughs> I guess the empire is increasing its forces. A few mages eye you suspiciously as they pass by. <laughs> So there's other things I can do here. Let's have a look in this, let's peruse the stores. Among the abandoned stores you find an ancient looking shop front. Through Red Lantern you read, Lelot's oddments use stones and directions. There are signs pointing out an outer path to curses and blessings. Follow the sign to curses and blessings, cause we need blessings. You follow the signs through the lonely streets until they lead you to a sizable hill of colorful rags where you believe a market once stood. Blessings, curses, you don't need either of them. I'll trade you all of them for this shiny rock. Well, that isn't exactly what I had in mind, so I guess we'll walk away. Let's uh, enter Lelot's oddments. I'm not allowed in there after I stole all those stupid pebbles, he lets you go on ahead. With a jangle, you enter the dusty store. You find a filled shelves, baskets, glass cases with rocks of various shapes and sizes. The wizened shopkeep, Lelot, peers over the counter right here. Let's ask about stones. You see baskets of giant boulders, smooth pebbles tucked away in the corner, a basket of rings. What would you like to buy? Everything, everything is 20 gold a piece, so even if I want to buy a ring, I can't afford one. I need to draw three life paying cards for a ring. Now I'm fairly sure the only ring that I've got is the ruby ring. I don't know what it does, but I'm not prepared to do three life paying cards. Cause like even at best it's 15 health and at worst it's a hell of a lot worse than that. So yeah, we're not gonna do that. Maybe on a different mission, but not on this one. <laughs> Let's ask about directions. That's where the nearest fight is. I suppose going to traders is kind of pointless when I've only got 10 gold and nothing to sell, so yeah. Let's just go to the town centre uh, and enter the Devil's Ears Tavern. Or do we just go straight for there? Let's go to the tavern. Malaclips breathes in the heady scent of berry wine, smoke and feathers. Ah, the Devil's Ears, my home away from home. He pulls out his loot and leaves to serenade the pretty bartender. She tries her best to ignore him. You survey the bar. A group of burly ogres crowds a two small table. Meanwhile, a giant fleshy eyeball floats somberly by the windows. Let's start the floating eye. <laughs> the creature watches you approach with interest. A small, f a smile breaks out in the knotted flesh at its base. Would you care to dance, a small one? It asks solemnly. I mean, sure. Yeah, how often do you get to dance with a giant floating eyeball? Let's do it. It is a slow circling dance, the creature humming an old harvest song all the while. After some indeterminate amount of time the dance ends, ah, the creature sighs, that took me back to my youth. The creature's eyes so large that it's difficult to tell whether it's looking at you or somewhere behind you. <laughs> what are you? The creature chuckles and the fleshy tendrils on its underbelly shake heartily. So, yeah, it's... okay. This is an item that I kept from the last warrior I ate. Okay. What would you offer in return? No, no thank you. 
I've seriously got to do it. I can't. I can't back out. How do I back out? Do I don't want to trade me flipping. Okay, I mean, I literally. That's, that is absolutely sickening. Yes, I guess I'll equip it, seeing as, you know. Well, I've learned something about this flipping card, and it's, it don't ask to trade with giant floating eyeballs because they won't give you the chance to flip and back out. That is sickening, absolutely sickening. Leave it be. I want nothing to do with giant floating ogres. I don't care about ogres. I'm gonna find stupid Malaclipse's contract, get this card done and never look back. <laughs> oh, I'm so salty. <laughs> Malaclipse leads the way through the dim, lonely streets to Ira's house. You can hear screaming coming from within. A woman in robes adorned with silver ornaments greets you at the door. Merc said you'd be, you would come begging for help regardless you were late. I have an illness, I'm hoping to pitch you secure. Ira of the Veil vale frowns for a bit before nodding and letting you into the house. You enter the sitting room and the source of the wailing is made clear. A man is locked in a cage, criving in fevered agony. Sores of corruption fester on his body. Without warning, she opens the cage and the man rushes at you. But with surprising strength, Iris subdues the mad writhing creature. This is the mage, Cohen. He thought he could fight off the corruption, but he could not. Iris watches Malaclips carefully as cro Cohen's cries get more and more guttural. What should I do with him? The bard looks away, disgust and fear on his face. He appears close to passing out. She nods before turning to you. What will you do? Kill him. Kill him. With that dealt with, Ira begins tinkering at a table strewn with dead and shiny things. I do have a cure, but as you know, nothing comes free with the our kind. She taps silver dust from a bottle. Save the stolen, the stolen mage children for me and I will give you the cure. A reward well earned. Okay, so we've got the next part of the quest. Those are my bastards have taken them to some walled fort in the docks of the city. And you better hurry. That illness can't be held at bay for much longer, I'd wager. He's got the corruption, hasn't he? He hasn't told you, eh, it's not my place to say, but no, this friend of Malaclips, if he doesn't find a cure soon, you are in grave danger. Nonsense. <laughs> of course he was. <laughs> Just leave. Mal, the bar turns around, you catch a glimpse of hopes in his eyes. She avoids his gaze. Take the children to the madmen near Frostford. They run an orphanage. I fear it is no longer safe here. I'm still so flipping annoyed at losing me very good northerner fighting sword and replacing it with a standard sword. And not even be able to like back out of that trade. With the least of notice, the very lands beneath your feet. Could okay, slide so you know, away. kill three enemies. It's don't get destroyed by the avalanche. You know, standard fare. I hope I can get me Winter's Bane back. I don't know if you can like, you know, if it gets reshuffled back into the deck or something. But I hope so. Well, I've got two defends off the bombs there. Okay, one's by himself. We should... Okay, that somehow hit me. Can I have another shield yet? No, you're not quite ready. Right. Okay, well, we've got the... I actually didn't get hit there. That's amazing. <laughs> that kind of makes me feel better. <laughs> I mean, it was only three, so you know. Right, gain equipment. That's better than the defense. shield I was using, so yeah, do let's do it. Given time. And 10 gold, it's very nice.
Nice. Even with a one, we still managed to beat the, the roll. Right, give me give me a weapon. Witness pain, yes. So yes, I can get it back. Thank you very much. I will definitely have that. Definitely feeling better about, you know, itself. losing it in such a Pushes stupid way now. Back. Sudden blizzard slows your progress through Mount Freitas. The bit of winds pierce your skin like shards of glass. Well, we've got to go up. Witches, I will Blessed tolerate. Brew. They have at least stepped into the streams of power that magicians call home. As you ascend the snowy Mount Freitas, you happen upon a cottage with pungent smoke wafting out the chimney. A frail old lady sweeping snow off the path beckons you to come in. We've come in search of the great high priestess to deliver an important message, says Malaclips. You'd better go bearing blessings if you want to get on the high priestess's good side. I'm fixing a batch right now if you'd like a taste. If I've got it right this time, you can take it to her, she says, stirring the cauldron. Malaclips politely declines. I've been watching what I eat, but my companion here has an insatiable appetite, he says, nudging you forward. Okay. So any of these are blessings. I, I didn't get time. Well, I, I don't know what any of them do, so... <laughs> it was pointless trying to follow one. Guardian Angel. Optionally, retry any chance card gambit. That's insane. That's so good. Yes, I'm happy with that. <laughs> you take a sip of the aromatic portion and feel a warm, fuzzy feeling flowing through your body. Looks like my recipe is a success. I'm sure the High Priestess will appreciate this one. You thank the old lady and continue up. Ever since I've returned to this world, I've been disappointed. The filth, the shame, the horrors dwell in the minds of men, not in the monsters in the darkness. Westwind's only tavern, the Rusty Razor, is a safe harbour among the many dangers of the outreaches of the Empire. Its barkeep sits outside his establishment with a look of resigned defeat. Upon your arrival, he jolts straight up and a smile almost breaks out across his face. At last, someone from the Guild is here. These Empire soldiers have almost ruined me. Before you can disagree, the owner swings open the saloon doors and pushes you inside. So, we're going to try and get this token here. Okay. A musket of steel and a false steel. Inside you discover a handful of Empire soldiers enjoying ale rather than doing their duty. Freshly invigorated barkeep hops onto a table and shouts above the noise. You lazy drunken deserters are done! The Steward's Guild has sent an enforcer here and now you're all going to have to get back to your post. This town needs defending. One of the soldiers rises with a slight sway. We've got three days until our shift ends and we return to civilization, so we're not doing any fighting unless they threaten the supply of ale, right lads? A raucous cheer erupts and beer tank is smashed together all around. So why don't you take your shiny little badge and shove off? The barkeep turns to you, what are you going to do? I'm going to stove the heads in, threaten them. You suggest with men that the soldiers should report a duty or they'll report to the healer. Nice! <laughs> Them's fighting words. Oh dear. Uh, yes, I would like a redraw. Oh, well, whatever. I won't be threatened by the likes of you. The soldier grumbles as he rises, followed by his friends. Oh, okay, so if I'd, if I'd pulled that off, I just wouldn't have had to fight them. That's okay. Yeah, I'm okay with fighting them. I guess I should try and kill this musket guy. Oh, there's two of them. Okay. Watchman. Taken from the dregs of society, elevated to petty positions of power. Watchmen can block, greatly reducing income and damage. Use bash to open them up. What are you doing? Okay. Let's uh, see if we can't. Okay. I'm gonna try and. I'm gonna try and get in on these. I lost my shield, that's fine. Give him the action. Okay, can I have another shield, Malaclips? Oh, there we go, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, the musket man needs to die. Lost my shield, not great. Okay, he's down. Okay, now I can focus on these dudes. Okay. 
Okay, I thought he was aiming for Mala Clips somehow, for some reason. Oh, this is, is not great. Right, get up. I need to actually just try and learn to defend better. What's like annoying as fuck, right? It's like, oh my god. Get stabbed. Yeah, what's like super annoying is uh, if I if I bash, then I can't. Uh, oh, excuse me, I need to finish you off. If I bash, I can't uh, defend. And sometimes if you try and roll through one of the, the green attacks, you get hit anyway, which I think is ridiculous. Or maybe I'm just saying that because I did really poorly. Okay, yeah, let's have the, the Valiant Aegis, I think. Adds one to weapon charge, defend, that's nice. Eat less, every third step does not consume food, that's really good. Uh, means more to cook, which I'm gonna have to because look at me life. It's... Yeah, it's our valiant ages. I have little trust in artifacts that breathe. Five food, oh. another three food. That's definitely helpful. Okay, didn't get the token. Oh, we did get the token. Sweet. I assumed you'd have to hit the huge success to uh, to do that. That's cool. That's cool. Another flipping blizzard. I'm gonna have to just camp on that because uh, my life's getting real low. Oh, I might even there. Uh... Okay, that's a success, that's fine. Don't need to redraw that. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna camp now. Is there anything I can sell? I should have a soldier sword and a normal thingy that I can sell. Do you have anything that I want to buy though? Got the ring? Yeah, let's do it. Let's get it. Because we don't know what it is yet. And uh, I'm not going to be using these. So, goodbye shield. Goodbye standard sword. Hello ruby ring. Gain 10 max life while you have more blessings than curses. Well, we do have more blessings than curses, so that's Valuable nice. For purely financial reasons, if nothing else. Uh, I do need three food for eleven gold. I'm gonna do it simply because I need to uh, to cook food to get me health back. Cook some food. Cook some food. Cook some food. I think I'll go down to 20 food. Okay, that's better. I just need to get better at combat. That's where all my HP damage is coming from. At least avoidable HP damage. Like, there's nothing I can do about blizzards in this mission. Not every temple has crumbled into the dust. More's the pity. Oh, if I hadn't bought that food, I could have done it. <laughs> I could have paid six gold and had a had a blessing. Sorry. Maybe I can come back to that one if I get some gold. Ah, uh, took a lot of damage there. Yeah, that's fine. I've been hitting them with like surprising amounts of success. I thought I'd have failed one of them by now. Just need to some, uh, some gold, on, really. Despite nature itself attempting uh, no, to let's... thwart you. Your memory seemed filled with conflict and chaos, yet occasionally something merely pleasant slips through. A chance upon a wooden cart, overflowing with pears, pies, and many items otherwise. Yeah, I skipped through all that because I. Given that I've got zero gold, I expected the whole not being able to do anything. So never mind. We'll just head up. The mountain is unforgiving. 
you would not be the first to die upon its feet. Uh, well, we've... Okay, nice. This is great. I've received word from my sisters Hawk and have been expecting you. It may not be as skilled as her, but this blessing portion I've whipped up is my best yet. Do you think it's good enough? Heroic sacrifice. Okay, so there's two failures in there. We've got a 50% chance of getting some decent and we can redraw. Yeah, we'll take it. I'm, I'm not... Like, I could try and go for the other one, but again, I don't know what either of them do. And on top of that, um, I could fail it all together, so no, that's fine. Prior to combat with two or more monster cards, optionally discard a basic monster card, but lose your companion for three turns. The basic monster card. So that, I'm going to assume that's not like, you know, any of the ones that have names, like the, the Musket of Steel. It'll just be numbered cards. That's cool though. It could be worth it. And it's another blessing. You thank the old lady and continue up Mount Freyr, paying no heed to the brewing blizzard. I am Nomish torn exchange. between my loathing for gnomes and my despair that the world is becoming less strange and arcane as the empire spreads. Halt, file humans. A voice calls out as a dozen small creatures leap from the trees around you. It takes a moment to realise they are gnomes. Dirty, poorly armed gnomes. A few hold spears, but most only have a rock or sharpened stick. We seek arms to defend ourselves, a gnome declares. Hand over some of your equipment and we'll release you. We can even pay you something. I'll give you some food for a helmet. No, give me some armour and I'll give you a health potion. Let's check our inventory. What have we got? I could give them the villager's axe. Or I wouldn't... Can I? I don't think I can give them that. Maybe I can, but I don't think I can. Right, well, we'll try. Give them something. Oh. 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 <laughs> so I can't give them any starting equipment. That sucks. Um, can I go back? I can. Yeah, refuse. Expected that. I'm not giving you any of my good stuff. It's as simple as that. <laughs> the gnomes quickly retreat into the trees, peering at you from the shadows until you leave. Yeah, well, you know, F you too. Now the confrontation. Are you ready to face the priestess of her people? No, I'm really not. The deal the Empire has requested. Or will turn you back. turn and flee? There's no chance of me getting like a gold on. I think to get the gold on this, I'm gonna have to get six blessings, which I think just isn't gonna happen at this point. A grand Temple prayers again, no money, no money. So I, you, I could have had four at this point, day. and I've got two. So I think you know another another fudging blizzard. This has been a disaster from start to finish this. Like I had any chance of following that. But you know, we pulled it off. That's literally the only thing that's went well really with this, this mission. The old maiden. Ask for gold. It's a bit pointless because I'm pretty sure I can't go back to these anyway. No, I can't. Deep water. <sighs> so there's only four enemies, but they are reasonably hard. Um, but I mean, you know, at this point, I think I'm, I'm feeling a little defeatist. Oh, I could use heroic sacrifice to get rid of one of these, the frost trapper. Do I want to do that? I think for the sake of four enemies, I don't. So we're just going to continue. The shields, the shields too strong. So I've I've been over every every card, okay, and at most. 
trapper on the frozen plains, pray a few and far between. The keen eyes of a trapper see all. Throw hunting traps that snare the target, use a bait to avoid the traps, or change direction rapidly to break free. Yeah, at most I could have had four, so I'm not even sure how I would how I'd be meant to uh, work this out. Well there goes my shield. Okay, he wasn't too difficult. Excuse me. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> this is going so poorly. Stop it. Leave me alone. <laughs> I get destroyed. Get in there after. That was so bad. It's so bad. The high priestess is gonna like just have me here, isn't she? Four fame for all it's worth. Ten max life. Ten gold. See why couldn't I have come across this before I hit both of those temple prayers cards, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, why not? As you enter the great hall, the towering arched doors swing open with a heavy crack. A giantess in a velvet robe enters accompanied by raiders. Malaclips bows low at the ground. My companion and I have been sent forth to discuss a truce between the Empire and Northern as my lady. So they send me a silver-tongued devil and his mercenary, she smirks. I hope for your sake you have a decent offering. You kneel before the high priestess. For not bringing enough blessings, you have failed to win the gold token. Only two blessings, what a pitiful effort. With a flick of her wrist, bolts of lightning strike you. Hellish. You still have a chance to defeat this mission, even if imperfectly. Holy hell. Wow, okay. Do you want to calm yourself? The giantess claps, the sound ringing in the silent cold hall. Heart, this small thing survived it. Impressive. But if you wish to speak to me of a treaty, you must prove yourself against my champion. Yeah, that's not going to go well. <laughs> that is not going to go well with 17 life. I could get rid of the three of Frost by getting rid of Malaclips. But again, I think the chances of us pulling this off are pretty low. So yeah, that isn't gonna that isn't gonna be too great. <laughs> like, uh, let's be honest here. Berserk champion, fierce, loyal, and relentless champion and high priestess, brewed with ice. Great, you know. Let's be honest. I'm not pulling this off, am I? Really. There goes my shield. Right, slow your ass down. Ugh. One more hit and I'm done. Get up, I need you. Give me, give me a shield. Oh, no, 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 no! Ah! He's still in it. He's still in it somehow. Right, just don't get hit. No! Right, you just get lost. Right, someone eat this. Get destroyed. Right. Ah! No, get out the way! <laughs> oh, I am actually just on the edge of my seat here. Excuse me. Mal clips, I need a shield, boy. Oh, look at that. Look at the damage. Excuse me. Come on, finish him. Okay, it takes a bit more to finish him. He's nearly down, though. He's nearly down. Okay, he's, we've done it, we've done it. Okay. 
Right, just these losers to deal with. Don't get hit. Oh, are you joking? How could you so close? <laughs> oh. Combat solves so little. It has ended this, however. Um, how about fuck you? <laughs> For convincing Ira to help Malaclips, we get to the next part part of the quest. We did do the West Wind, West Wind uh, Tavern one, and we got friendly and keeper, and that was it. That sucks. So, yeah, that didn't go quite a plan, but I mean, to be honest, we've we've worked out sort of the. Um, the, the formula for how to do that right because it's that thing isn't it don't get better get better so what did we learn from failing miserably there a we should have cooked way more food because we finished the mission there with like more than 15 it was like 18 food or something so we could have cooked all of that off and had way more health like before even going into there uh, I started at like 70 odd health or something before she zapped us down to 17 um, bring keep some gold next time for temple prayers I don't know if 4 out of 6 would be enough to get a favourable outcome but we know at worst complete these challenges and we will be ready to face the usurper excuse me I'm trying to talk <laughs> yeah cook more food Cook more food, keep some gold back, get better combat. There's our there's our three things to take away. Well, I'm not oh, I'm not gonna just put up episodes where I, I clean it out. Do you know what I mean? And I do really well. So yeah, this is a failure. It's going online. Next time, because we didn't finish it, we're gonna have another crack at the high priestess, and we're gonna knock it out of the park. So you know, maybe you got some entertainment out of watching us feel feel so badly. <laughs> I hope so, because otherwise it would be a bit of a waste. Still, having said that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.